There's bad turbulence ahead. The economy is a minefield right now, ready to detonate and destroy the wealth and dreams of the unprepared. Bank failures, de-dollarization debt. But amidst the chaos, a beacon of hope emerges. Kevin Sorbo, screen legend as Hercules, Christian actor and outspoken activist for the people. With his economic crisis toolkit crafted in partnership with the experts at Noble Gold, Sorbo is now on a mission to help everyday Americans navigate the coming nightmare. This shockproof toolkit is your compass through the turmoil with recession-proof strategies, inflation-busting techniques, and opportunity-seizing skills to help you not just survive, but thrive in the bedlam. The crisis threatens to derail your financial future, but you now can stay on track and emerge stronger than ever. And the best part, this shield of knowledge is yours absolutely free. Don't become another casualty. Enlist in Sorbo's Wealth Warrior ranks today and arm yourself with the tools and tactics you need to protect your hard-earned assets. Visit noblegoldinvestments.com now and sign up for the Economic Crisis Toolkit. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. What's going on, everyone? Jericho Green here with you once again. Remember, get my merch, 20% off promo code SLOPPYJOE1, all caps, no spaces, and give me a follow on X at green underscore Jericho. Links will be in the description box. I have one question. Very simple, very short, to the point. Who the fuck keeps doing this to Sloppy Joe? Huh? Who keeps putting him in front of the common Negro unassisted? You know what it is. It's an election year, so it's time to all aboard. The USS Pander. What can we give these black folk to make them fill the little square for us on the ballot? They know. Give them some chutch music, some singing, some dancing, maybe some beatboxing. <laughs> they love that stuff. It doesn't have to be anything real. It doesn't have to be anything that actually helps them. Just dance. A little song, a little dance, maybe some rap. And they will line up in droves to vote for your ass. How can you say that, Jericho? How can you say something so racist? How do you know that? I got proof. Here it is right here. This lost, senile, old Werther's original sucking turd. He doesn't know where he's at. All he knows is the black folks are jumping around to entertain him. Or does he even know that much? <laughs> Look at Kamala. They think I'm black. They think I'm black. They think I'm black. They think I'm black. I don't want to love nobody but you. I don't want to love nobody but you. I don't want to love nobody. Look at Dougie. Fucking stop. I don't want to love nobody but you. And he's pointing at Kamala. Like this song's for you. Get the fuck out of here. Sloppy Joe doesn't know what to do. He's like, maybe if I keep still and smile, they won't rob me. Jill! He's shitting right now. He's shitting. I don't want to love nobody but you. I don't want to love nobody. Love nobody but you. What is he doing? What's that a fist bump? Is that what you you Negroes do to each other? <laughs> hey, why are all these black people around me and no one's brought me a sweet tea? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Hey, corn pop? Is that you? Corn pop! The lights are on, but nobody's home. And that charlatan you hear in the background singing, that's Kurt Franklin's fake ass gospel singer. There's video out there of him gyrating on stage like he's at a fucking strip club. Dude's full of shit. But they brought him on stage because black folks, they just need to hear a good tune. 
Like you ever left your house and you left the lights on because you, you know, what if what if a burglar comes, you want him to think somebody's home. That's the personification of that right there. He don't know where the fuck he's at. He wants Jill to come and get him. He's scared, all this noise, all these black folks. This fool is lost. Now watch this right here. Watch Doug Emoff. That's the first gentleman, ew. And we're supposed to believe they're in a, in a happy, loving relationship. She went from Montel Williams to him. Anyway, watch what he does. He like mouths the words, I, I only love you. I don't love nobody but you. The corniest shit you've ever seen. Don't forget, he kissed the first lady on her mouth. Oh, damn it. Wrong button. Here we go. Watch these two. Shitting, shitting his pants, shitting his pants, shitting his pants. Watch him, watch. Shitting, shitting, shitting. Watch him while he's about to zone out. Zone out. There it is, thousand yard stinger. Oh my god, them lights, them lights and pyrotechnics are playing a fucking trick on his brain. But it gets better. Uh oh, it gets better. I could go old school and say, clap your hands, everybody, and everybody. Clap your hands to the people on this side. Clap your hands to the people right uh, here. No Clap rhythm. your hands to the people up top. There it goes. Clap your hands. Watch this. Yeah, what's wrong with that Negro? Is he having a stroke? I I had one. I was going to say, clap your hands, everybody. Wow. And everybody. Clap your hands to the people on this side. Clap your hands to the people right here. Clap your hands to the people up top. Clap your hands. Watch this. Why does he look so scared? <laughs> oh, good boy. Yeah. I could go. Wow. So this brings me back to my original question. Who keeps doing this to Sloppy Joe? Who keeps putting him in these awkward situations where you know he doesn't know what to do? Is is Jill, is she off? Is she on vacation? Does she step out for a minute? Who keeps putting him in these situations? But you know what? Unfortunately, there are going to be millions and millions of black folks who are going to see this, it's going to go right over their head, in one ear, out the other, and they are going to vote for this fucking idiot. Why? Because he's not the bad orange man. Because he's not a convicted felon. Can't they convicted felon? <laughs> That's why they do this because it works. They do this because it works every single time. We don't have to give them shit. We don't have to do shit. But every four years, invite some famous black folks to the White House, let them shuck and jive on the lawn, and those Negroes will line up every time. They only do it because it works. <laughs> God. He looked confused. And I stand by this. We have not seen the worst yet. Sloppy Joe is going to take the textbook, stereotypical, old, feeble person fall. You're going to see him in front of the cameras with half of his face bruised up because he sat up out of bed too fast and had a little oopsie. But you know how it goes. I try. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize the link tree link 
make sure you go to the Teespring link. Hit that link. Put in promo code Sloppy Joe, the number one, all caps, no spaces, 20% off. And give me a follow on X at green underscore Jericho. I am Jericho Green. And man, I'm out.